I wanted to do a quick video on this topic I found. What I was trying to do was I have this application open called Sweet CRM, which I run locally, which is a CRM software which is free to use and then you can extend it yourself and they charge you money for learning how to do things. Uh, if you know PHP and you know Sugar CRM already, you pretty much know this application. And you can look at the Sugar uh, Community Edition for documents on how to maintain this and extend it. Going back to Postman, what I was trying to do was simply log in with my username and admin, username and password, I'm sorry. And I was having a lot of difficulty doing that, but I finally got it right, and this is kind of the combination of doing it. So you can do a get, put, or post. Each one of these uh, returns the same thing. Uh, the REST you, the rest API for Sweet CRM uh, doesn't really make too much sense at the moment to me because a put should always be used for um, you know creating a new record or updating existing information and a get should only be used for getting information but they appear to do the same thing um, one of the difficulties I had with this was I had to put all these into the query parameters um, which I don't like to do. I think that's wrong because then all your information is in the browser history, like right here. So, but this is the way it works apparently. Uh, so I thought I'd make a mention of it because it was hard for me to do. And the hardest part was getting the password correct. Um, so this is the information that you need to pass into um, as REST data uh, to the API to get it to work. Um, and there's other methods you can use. Uh, like this one is method is log in. There's other methods you can call and you can look at those in the uh, Sugar Community Edition uh, documentation. One specific thing about this password is that, so my password is admin, uh, but you need the MD5 encrypted value of it. I initially just went to here and looked at user hash and assumed that this was the MD5 version. That it is not. It is not the MD5 version. So then what I did I went to Google, found the MD5 hash generator, put in my password here, and it generated this uh, MD5 hash. I then put that into uh, Postman, and then it worked successfully. So that was the difference. Um, I'm going to continue messing around with this and see if I can get various methods to work and create documents and add records to this. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching again.